Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. What next, or more importantly, who next for Adam Kovnatsky, the Polish-American heavyweight who was upset by Robert Hellenius in four rounds at the Barclays Center on March the 7th. Obviously, he now has to pick himself up, dust himself off, get back to the drawing board, as he has said, and sort of uh, go again. And what does that look like? Who is that going to be against? And I think there's a number of options here and a few that I favor over others. But first, I sort of wanted just to wade into uh, uh, comments that some fans have made that Adam Kovnatsky was exposed in this fight. Sure, this was against the guy, Robert Hellenius, who was considered at the back end of his career on the downslide. I mean, I still think Hellenius is well past prime, but obviously Adam Kovnatsky coming forward, eating a lot of shots, ultimately got knocked out. And that's what a lot of people are saying he was exposed for. But I don't see it that way because he's a known quantity. He fights that way. He consistently fights that way. He's always eaten a lot of shots against um, some of the opposition that he's faced as he's climbed up the ranks. He took a lot of shots against Chris Ariola. He took a lot of shots against Charles Martin, especially later in that fight. Ultimately, he got wins over the likes of Ariola, Charles Martin, Gerald Washington, Arta Spilka, Iago Kaladze, and even Kaladze got a few shots in as well. So his resume, it is at a certain level. There's a few decent names in there, but obviously he was looking to take a step up at some point and fight for a title. But he's been caught too many times on the chin by Robert Hellenius, and uh, that's gone bye-bye. So his rankings will go out the uh, the window to some extent. He will fall down with Robert Hellenius sort of uh, coming up. It was a WBA title eliminator. Kovnatsky had been ranked inside the top six of all sanctioning bodies. But this whole argument of him being exposed... I don't think it was that. I think it's just he ate too many punches and ultimately that was going to catch up with him at some point in the heavyweight division. It's not like this wasn't coming at some point. A lot of fans have sort of said Adam Kovnatsky is going to get hit at some point and hit hard and probably taken out. Most people just expected it would be someone who was a bit sort of higher up the tree than Robert Hellenius, who was past prime and a bit shot worn these days. Although he looked decent in that fight, but certainly I don't think Hellenius is a world beater by any stretch. So Kovnatsky, he's got things he needs to do, go away and you know work on his conditioning, his fitness, and maybe a bit of his defense. But I think for the most part, he's probably still going to be much of the same fighter. He's going to be a guy who comes forward, throws volume, and he probably will still get hit. But sometimes it's going to come off, maybe sometimes it won't. But in terms of the what next, it's probably going to be a situation because it's almost a rebuild sort of situation or at least a mini rebuild. It might be a case of careful matchmaking wins the day. So I could see, at least for a comeback fight, maybe he won't be in a big fight. Maybe they will look to give him a confidence fight, perhaps mid-year. Most likely it will be a co-main event and it will probably be at the Barclays Center. They will have a fight that is at the top of the bill, a couple of decent names, but Kovnatsky is going to help sell the tickets because he's a popular fighter with his Polish fans in New York. So I could see that being the most likely scenario, a confidence type win sometime in the middle of the year, maybe even sort of towards August or something like that. But if they do decide, look, this was just not our night, you know, Hellenius, big puncher, caught him with too many shots and, you know, we're going to sort of fight another guy. We want to be a main event. We want to keep this Adam Kovnatsky sort of business going. Because remembering, that was his second headline event at the Barclays Center. So as a co-main event, he's not going to make nearly as much money as he would being a main event. And I'm not sure what he got for that fight, but it would have been, it will be significantly more than if he is on someone's undercut. Card. But someone who stands out for me as a possible opponent, if they do decide, look, we're just going to go back into another fight as a main event, is Dominic Brazil. He's coming off a loss. He's been calling Adam Kovnatsky out. That was a fight that Kovnatsky could have taken. Ultimately, he decided to go with Robert Hellenius, who in many people's minds, you know, was even more shop-worn than Dominic Brazil, who's been through a number of wars himself. But I think someone like Brazil, who is uh, six foot seven, he punches hard too, just like Robert Hellenius. 
he would fancy his chances against Adam Kovnatsky, mostly for the reasons of what we saw play out on Saturday night against um, Robert Hellenius. Because if he catches Kovnatsky, uses his height and reach, catches him on the way in, then he could do some damage. But clearly we know as well, you know, Brazil is one of those fighters where you sort of throw a punch from anywhere. It's going to hit him. And he just seems to be one of those type of guys. What do they call it? A Coke bottle fighter. You could throw a Coke bottle from the, you know, the back of the stadium and it's going to hit him. So Dominic Brazil could be an opponent for Adam Kovnatsky as a main event if they decide to go straight into a semi-big sort of fight. Adam Kovnatsky is probably going to always be in a position where he's going to be hit, he's going to rely on his style, he's going to try outwork the other guy, hurt him by sort of you know getting in there into the inside, bashing to the body and head. And that's really been his formula. It's, it's no secret, that's what he does. We always know what he's going to try and do, and he tries to execute. And for the most part against Robert Hellenius, even until the stoppage, he was having a lot of success in there, especially to Hellenius's body. And there were spots in there where Hellenius looked un uncomfortable but obviously Kovnatsky leading with his face you know trying to get his work away he was open to being hit and hit he was so they'll work on some things I'm sure but I guess you have to ask the question how likely is a rematch because there was no rematch clause and Adam Kovnatsky has indicated he would want to run that straight back and I'm sure after the a defeat like that getting knocked out in front of his home fans you know he was the A-side there and his fans deserted the building you know pretty lickety split he is embarrassed about what happened he will want to sort of make it right and get a win over Hellenius and I could see him actually in a second fight in a rematch I could see him winning it he just probably has to be a little bit smarter but I don't think Hellenius is going to entertain that and he probably doesn't need to it was an eliminator he's going to have decent rankings after this but PBC may have an option on his next fight and if they do they're more likely to match Robert Hellenius with his approval in a bigger fight for a bigger payday than maybe than Adam Kovnatsky can offer in a rematch but yes, yeah, so I don't think the rematch is really a likely option. I think Kovnatsky will want it and maybe it could happen down the line, but maybe not. Maybe that's it and he has to just move on. So coming back for a confidence type fight, possibly a Brazil type fight, I think those are decent options. And there was a name thrown out before the loss to Hellenius that he was connected to within the PBC stable is Andy Ruiz. And that's a fight that's been talked about for a little while, but because he lost to Hellenius and Ruiz himself, if he gets himself in good shape, is actually a dangerous fighter as well. It's probably going to be a case where that fight doesn't happen next. It may happen down the line, and I could see that being a real war if it does. But next, unlikely. But apart from Brazil and Andy Ruiz Jr., He's actually fought a lot of guys within the PPC stable. Chris Ariola, Gerald Washington, Charles Martin. Charles Martin wants a rematch with Adam Kovnatsky, but I don't see that happening next because Charles Martin is likely to have a final eliminator in the IBF. So it will be interesting to see how tough they want to have him come back. And remembering he is a prize fighter after all. He's got a family, he wants to think about their future, and obviously having walked away from uh, several million dollars last year because there was a chance he could have the Anthony Joshua fight, Andy Ruiz took that, Adam Kovnatsky said no, he said he wanted to take other fights. In hindsight, doesn't look like a great decision, does it? Because ultimately turned down millions, took lesser paydays and has been beaten before he got to a title shot. But given his situation in New York with his popularity, the PBC will want to capitalize on that. So that's why I say likely a co-main event or main event in his next fight. I don't see it dropping down any lower and I don't see him fighting anywhere else for the time being. And I guess the other thing to just quickly consider, will he be straight back in the ring in a couple of months or is he going to have an extended period out of the ring? He says he needs to work on some things. Clearly the weight was uh, an issue, I believe. He probably needs to come in uh, lower than two mid-260s for a guy his size and his conditioning overall. He looked like he was starting to gas out a little bit even early on. And if he wants to continue with that high volume style, you know, being a little less in weight and having a bit better fitness will certainly help. What do you think is going to be next? Who do you think is going to be next? Is there a name that I haven't mentioned that you think is likely? And just consider before writing some names, you know, the promotional considerations. 
Adam Kovnatsky, for the most part, has fought within the PBC stable. So I think that's a likely starting ground you know, for potential opponents for him. Otherwise, it's going to be guys that are likely not connected with top rank or match room. So just keep that in mind for the guesses, because just throwing out, oh, he should fight a Daniel Dubois, or he should fight, you know, someone who's in match room, someone who's in top rank, for example, you know, it's unlikely to happen. But drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.